Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another MathCraft video. These are videos I make on my channel where I go really in depth into the math behind a particular Minecraft problem. And in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the custom super flats, something they added with 1.4 for Minecraft on the PC, which basically allowed you to combine as many layers as you want together, as well as a custom biome, a custom setup, you know, all these other things to make your own custom super flat. And I was curious how many of these can exist, how many different, uh, you know, layer combinations of biome combinations, because there's like four or five presets, but I imagine there's quite a few more, you know, different combinations. And with today's video, we'll be working out exactly how many there is. Hopefully, you all do enjoy it. Like it if you do because it helps out the channel a lot. and let's know you do enjoy the Mathcraft videos, particularly when working out something as insane as how many different super flats there are. Because bear in mind, we're going to calculate every single you know unique set of layers combined with every single unit set of biomes. Basically, how many times could you create a new one until you had to duplicate one you already had? So uh, yeah, this is a uh, quite a long question, but it starts with a simple enough answer because there's three main uh, you know sections of the Minecraft console super flat menu. Uh, there is of course the blocks, which is what you know, which it updates every single update of new things. So this is as of T46. Then there's the biomes, which again will update at some point in the future. And then there is the other option. So we'll start with the biomes because this is the easiest thing to work out. There is 17 biomes, which means we work out everything else and then we multiply it by 17, one for each type of biome. So you could have the exact same world, you know, let's call it 64 layers of dirt in a, you know, in a, a, an ice plains biome, but then it'd be a very different world if it was 64 layers of dirt in the end biome. So 17 biomes, that's how we work out our first thing. Then we need to multiply that by how many different uh, different option options you can have because if you go to different options, there's a whole bunch of different things and it basically comes back, uh, boils down to six binary decisions, you know, yes or no, which means there's 64, you know, uh, you know different possibilities of like, oh yeah, yes caves, but no lava lakes, but yes this and that. Uh, there's, uh, there's 64 different ways you can go through that. And then after that, there's a bunch of, you know, decisions we can click on, but they're going to have sliders attached to them. So for instance, uh, there's something like 24 different options attached to, you know, the uh, spacing between villages. Then there's two options for how big the village can be. Uh, you know, there's 11 options for the spacing between, uh, 10 options, sorry, for the spacing between, uh, you know, abandoned mine shafts. Then 11, if you consider the fact that having it on or off isn't. And then there's all these sorts of things. If we add those all, if we multiply those things all together, you know, uh, two by 24 by 11 by three by 24, by 24 by 13 gives us a pretty big number as it turns out because uh, yeah you multiply that together and you get what I believe is 18 billion uh, 218 million uh, 483,712 so yeah that's uh, that's a lot that's a lot of anything you know think about that many uh, like I don't know apples in a bowl and you got a pretty big bowl there so and that is the number of you know, humanly pos uh, possible different connect uh, combinations just of the options we have uh, you know the console the spacing etc etc admittedly there's not much difference between a world which has you know 546 meters and 560 meters between each social monument, but it is still a distinct difference, and therefore it can see a unique set of options. And then if we multiply that by the number of unique biomes, we have 17 times, you know, 18 billion, etc. And that gives us 309 billion, 714 million, 223,000 at 104 unique combinations of just the biomes and the options. Again, like uh, there's a lot of these things because even when you add a few options together, kind of like the way if you fold a piece of paper 40 times, you get to the moon. It's kind of like that, but with this, uh, where each of these individual options doesn't add much, but you combine them together, you work out all the different options, and suddenly you've got a lot going for you. So, yeah, that is uh, 309 uh, billion, just as we've gone to the, uh, you know, options and biomes, but when we get to the layers and the number of different blocks we can include, that's where things get really, really crazy, because bear in mind, even though on console we only have 128 layers to play with, there is always going to be 128 layers in some way, because even though most of those layers might always be, uh, you know, air in a lot of cases, you might have, like, three layers of dirt, and then, you know, 125 layers of air, you're always going to have something there, because the world has to generate something. So, yeah, that means that you're always using one of the 100 167 as of uh, you know current available blocks and when you consider the number of uh, you know different combinations of like oh yeah dirt and then sand and then air and then sand and then dirt etc when you can when you go for, into all of those combinations you start to realize that this stacks up really really quickly and yeah the way we actually calculate this is we work out the number of uh, blocks there is that possible you know there's 167 choices you can have for any given layer and you can there's no like limit on whether you can combine this or that with very very few exceptions but yeah so there's 167 different blocks we can have and then there is 128 different layers so bear in mind that you have to have all 128 fills. That means the way we calculate this is it's 167 to the power of 128. So again, that doesn't sound too bad. That's a simple maths equation on using three-digit numbers. However, obviously, again, to the power of the exponentiality of it means that the answer to this, uh, you know, a little, little thing right here, 167 to the power of 128, is actually uh, this. I try and say it, but I think it's in like the it, it's it's in such an unpronounceable region. But let's just say this number on screen, the answer to how many different block combinations there are, is 284 digits long. So uh, yeah, how how many uh, you know, even just layer choices, can you have in a custom super flat menu? Uh, that many, and uh, it, it's quite a lot as it turns out. So yeah, it's that many uh, different options just for the number of different layers you can have, but then that's only just the layers by itself. We need to multiply that by our previous number, you know, the number of options, the number of biomes, and that gives us the final number of how many different super flat layers there are in Minecraft for the consoles, and um, yeah, I put this into a number to make it readable. Apparently it is a sept non non gentillion. so in the way you go up from like, you know, millions to billions to trillions to quadrillions, etc., you know, like the, the 
the number and then that. Uh, this is the 97th level of that off. And uh, yeah, the Sept non ignilian or 99 Sept non ignilians which is basically uh, almost 300 digits, which is a, it's a lot as it turns out. So uh, yeah, how many custom super flat layers are there? There is that many. It is such an absurdly unpredictable amount. Even if you created one every like second from now to the end of the universe, you probably wouldn't get there in time. And uh, yeah, the key point to make here is whenever you create a, you know, a custom super flat, uh, kind of in the mind blowing way that if you shuffle a deck of cards, you probably get a new one each time. If you create a brand new super flat and it's not using just obvious stuff, like if you just like, randomly pick it, then you're statistically almost 100% you know, certain, like if you do get a duplicate, it's rare, uh, you're almost 100% certain to have created a brand new super flat no one has ever made before, which is pretty darn cool. However, one thing to keep in mind is even though there's that many, you know, one to the 300 times, uh, I'd say a, a decent like 99% of those are probably pretty worthless, like no one wants to have, oh, oak wood followed by purple blocks followed by, uh, you know, sand. No one's really too interested in that, but maybe someone is, uh, uh, and uh, that's the cool thing about this. The, the creativity and the possibilities in Minecraft are always mind-blowing, and that's why I always get to at the end of these math crop videos. I'm like, oh yeah, there's going to be some decent number, and then it turns out, oh yeah, it's more numbers than I can even pronounce or put on screen. And I just think that's kind of cool, personally. But let me know what you think in the comments down below, and if you want to see more math crop videos, because I've been having quite a bit of fun with this recently, like it if you did like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye. Thank you.